everyone, it's Pebbles, and I am back at you uh, for Fatty Friday. So today is going to be an Italian version of lasagna, somewhat. I like my good plate of lasagna, but when you're doing a Fatty Friday healthy eating program, you kind of can't eat the pasta because I know personally for myself when I have pasta, I feel like crap and it is fattening and I know that maybe a little bit would be okay but when I have pasta I can't stop. It's the Italian in me. So I did a little research and I found this fabulous um, recipe. I've never done it before so this will be a first. So it is a spaghetti squash lasagna. And I kind of tweaked it a la Italian style, so I added a little bit of vegetables and stuff that I prefer in my lasagna, just to boost it up a little bit. But if you're interested in seeing how to make spaghetti squash lasagna, then stay tuned. All right, see, hopefully you'll stay and watch me make this lasagna. Wish me luck. Okay, to start off to make this lasagna, you are going to need some eggs. You're going to need some pasta sauce. This is my homemade sauce and I've already pre-cooked it to because this is like an all-day thing for me so I already pre-cooked that. You're going to need some garlic, some baby spinach, some fat-free or partly skimmed shredded mozzarella, some cilantro, which um, is optional. You don't need to put cilantro in it, but I am going to. A yellow onion, or white onion, white or yellow onion. Some mushrooms, and these are the cremini mushrooms. Some extra lean ground turkey. And of course, the main ingredient, your spaghetti squash. And that's what that looks like right there. Now for your seasonings, my true seasonings that I use with everything, my Italian spice, and this is um, homemade. It's got basil, parsley, and oregano, and we grow it in our home garden, and then we dry it out. Well, this is what my mother does. I don't do this, but my mom does it. And then we have some fresh spices. That is true organic, my friends. And then we have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and then black pepper. And then of course my coffee with my lipstick. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to prepare the spaghetti squash. So come with me near the stove and I'll show you how to prepare this sucker. Okay, so you have your spaghetti squash. Now I always like to wash and rinse out the, bat, the outside of it because a lot of people touch these in the grocery store and I get skeeved out. So I always wash the outside of my um, squash or any kind of vegetable or fruit. I always wash everything before I actually cook it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to cut this in half and it's hard as hell, but you're gonna cut it. Be careful when you're doing this because this sucker is very tough. All right, so you're gonna have two halves. Now what I like to do is I like to scoop out the inside because I don't want all of, I don't want to cook the seeds with my squash. So you're gonna have a half that looks like that. We're gonna clean the second half and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, so now you have two nicely cleaned um, halves and what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our pan. So I'm gonna use some Pam. I'm just gonna spray the bottom of my Pam. Pan with Pam. Can you say that 10 times fast? I don't think so. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush a little bit of olive oil in the inside of this. Not too much, but just a little bit. So I put some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in a little cup. And then with my brush, I'm just going to lightly season it. You don't wanna put too much of this. A little will go a long way. And you're just gonna coat the inside of your squash. And then what you're going to do 
is you are going to put this face down onto your pan like this and then we'll do the other one and you're going to bake these halves in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes or until the outer see how hard this is until it's actually mushy and and you can like squish and if it you haven't it. seen my little secret on how to get the perfectly sliced onion or um, mushrooms I use an egg slicer so what I do I thought I had recorded this but it didn't record I stick the mushroom inside here I press down and voila you get the perfect sliced mushrooms each and every time so I'm gonna go ahead I've washed these I've sliced them I'm gonna go and chop my onions and clean my baby spinach and I will be right back to show you what we're gonna do next okay so now we are going to prepare the filling for the lasagna so what I've done is I've put a tablespoon of olive oil in my wok and I've put about two or three cloves of garlic and we're going to saute the garlic and then I'm also going to put in the um, onion I chopped up the onion this is probably about a, a little bit more than it's about a half an onion depending on the size of your onion my onion was really really big so I used half but if it's smaller you might want to just use one full onion and we're going to saute this until it becomes translucent okay so now the onions are somewhat translucent so I'm going to be putting in my uh, mushrooms sauteing those and at the same time I'm going to put the spinach as well throw that in so I'm just gonna mix everything together and then I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna put the, the heat on low I've got, I've got it on number six if you have an electric stove I have my heat on number six so if you have a gas stove I would say it's probably like a medium heat all right so that seems to be mixed enough I'm gonna I'm gonna put the lid on and let that Simmer. okay so our spinach mushrooms onions and garlic have been cooked now just so that you know when this gets cooked there is an incredible amount of liquid in the pan so I used a slotted spoon to take out these ingredients out of the wok and then I put these in a strainer and press down to extract the excess water you need to do that or else your lasagna will become soggy because both the mushrooms and the spinach hold a lot of water so you definitely need to do that step in order to avoid having a soggy a lasagna so now I've got uh, a dry consistency of these uh, vegetables so I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that that's what you definitely need to do with this mixture here so the next step oh and I also seasoned this with all of my seasoning my salt my pepper my garlic powder onion powder and Italian seasonings okay so that's completed the next step is to brown your turkey breast your ground turkey so I'm just I this is a dry pan I did not put any oil in it and all I'm going to do is brown my turkey I'm going to chop it all up in smaller pieces I'm going to add my seasonings to this mixture as well and then take it out I don't want to add any more oils to the meat because you know with ground meat it does have it does have its own fat already in there so I just uh, I'm going to chop that up finely and then add a little bit of salt that's the salt I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper I'm going to add a little bit of my Italian mix I add these spices to everything I am going to add a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder I do not measure my seasonings I just go by eye and then I'm just going to brown up my meat and set that aside in a bowl until my squash is cooked okay so my spaghetti squash is cooked as you can see it's very soft to the touch and it's hot you can see the little indentations when I touch it so that indicates that it is cooked so I have the two I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit before I thread it and now we're going to um, remove the turkey breast 
or the ground turkey from the wok. As you can see, it's created its own juices. As I said, I didn't want to add anything because I knew that this would happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain this because again, you want to make sure your ingredients are dry and free from extra liquid because you do not want a soggy lasagna. So what I've done is I've put a paper towel inside a bowl and I'm going to drain it and put all of the turkey in here and then I'm going to um, put it in this bowl so that my turkey will be a nice lean and liquid free consistency. Okay, so now we're going to thread your spaghetti squash. So we're going to put it upside down like this, and it is hot. As you can see, the steam is just coming up. So we're going to thread this to make it look like spaghetti, so it's pretty easy. All you do is, with a fork, this is what you do. You just take it out of the shell, and look how nice it's coming up. And then we're going to scoop that into a bowl, and this is going to be your actual pasta. Well, it's going to act as your pasta. And then what I'm going to do actually is probably do this. So it goes right into the bowl. And I'm holding it with tongs because honestly I don't feel like burning my fingers and as you can see it's super hot. Okay, so once you've grated all of the spaghetti squash out of the shell, this is pretty much what you're left with. So it's pretty hollow. You can get, <laughs> pretty much you can hollow it right out. See how nice and clean that is? So you're getting a lot of the pulp with this squash. And this obviously you discard. And this is what you're left with. So now we're going to prepare the actual lasagna. Okay, I decided to use this bigger pan because I have a lot of ingredients. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to spray your pan with a little bit of Pam. So we're going to spray that all so nothing sticks and make sure you get the sides. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the spaghetti squash at the bottom of your pan. Because I didn't season this, I am going to season my squash with a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of Italian spice, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of garlic powder. Okay screwed that up a little bit so we're going to just mix that mix it all together you're going to add your your other ingredients so we are going to add our turkey that's ground and remember your ingredients that go inside should be very dry so make sure you're blotting your meat you could if you're not watching your weight you could make this with sausage um, Italian sausage meat would be really tasty this is my healthy version of it. And then we're going to put a little bit of sauce. So I've got my homemade sauce and I'm going to put that over top. Spread that. And if you don't have homemade sauce, it's okay. You can buy the store-bought sauce. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge you if you don't have homemade sauce. But as an Italian, that is a cardinal sin. Then we are going to put, I'm going to put the cheese. You can either put the cheese now or put the spinach and then the cheese. I think I'm going to do the cheese and just, you know, a little bit. I'm not going to like, normally this thing would be like covered with cheese, but I'm trying to be a little bit more health conscious. So I'm putting just enough cheese just to add some flavor to it. Now we're going to put the mushroom and spinach and onion over top. Is We're going to beat three eggs and pour that over top. So I'm going to get my beater and we're going to beat these babies. Don't I look like a professional beating these eggs? So 
all in the wrist. Okay. So now we are going to pour this over top. Make sure you're getting it evenly on top. And what this is going to do, it's going to form a crust on the top of your casserole. And then um, you're going to, like once that hardens, it forms a nice crust. Like I said, this is my first time making this, so I don't even know what it's gonna taste like. But this is what it looks like before you put it in the oven. And you're going to put it in the oven at 350 for an hour. And yeah, we'll see how the finished product turns out. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven. Actually, I took it out and I only kept it in the oven for half an hour because to me, if I put it in for another half hour, I think it would have been burnt. But to me, this looks well done. It looks like it's ready and it's cooked. So I'm just gonna let this cool and then I will cut it up and plate it and let you know how so I have plated a piece of these um, lasagna on my plate here. As you can see, here's all the ingredients. You can see the, the squash at the bottom. And I'm gonna dig in because I'm dying to see what this tastes like. So let's see. Oh, it's hot. Oh my God, it's delicious. You can see that it has a bit of a crust on the top, but it's very moist. And there's all the ingredients inside. You can make this more cheesy, it's not super cheesy. And then when you cut into it, here is the actual stuff. Now you can make this actually thicker by using a smaller pan. I wasn't sure what size pan I should use. It does call for an eight by eight pan, and it might actually be obviously a lot thicker when you do use an eight by eight pan. But because it was my first time, this is the way I did it, so it came out a little bit more flatter like this. But honestly, it is absolutely delicious. I have another bite of this, and oh my god, mm. magnifique! So, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you are all trying this out, let me know how it turns out. This is absolutely delicious. Highly would recommend trying it out. Put your own spin on it. If you don't like spinach and mushrooms, put some other kinds of ingredients in there. You don't have to do what I did. This is, I kind of did a variation of what I found online and I'm loving it. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my Fatty Friday or my, my channel because I do the Fatty Friday every Friday. And yeah, follow me on my journey to weight loss. I hope you all enjoy this and have yourselves a beautiful day. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in and ciao for now.